come one, come all on this new edition of Cribs Office Tour. Today, Caleb will be showing us around his new and improved office, so come on in. That's fine. Um, let me just clean up real quick. Welcome to my office. This is where I spend 99.999% of my time. The other whatever percentage that was is either outside in the field or on the couch vegging out, eating and drinking. That 99.99% of the time, I'm in here creating content for you and me. I like to think it's for me, but it's for you too. By all means, is this office ever this clean? No, it's usually not. I'm always at war with clutter. So first up, the command center, where I spend most of my time. Whether it's writing or it's editing videos or photos for you guys, or if it's research, and yes, buying cameras is research. I do it at this desk. I'm here all the time. I mean, you think that most of my time is spent out on the field taking photos? No. Editing is the majority of what I'm doing. It takes three days for every one video to edit completely, and sometimes more, depending on how involved the videos are. But as you can see, I have several computers here for sometimes doing computer graphics and for editing, but I also have my creator's tripod over here in the corner, which is like literally always on here. It helps me go from an idea to a video in no time. So it's always here on this desk. I wanna kinda of talk about the desk for a second because I've been in the market for a standing desk for a long time now. My physical therapist said, I need to start doing both sitting and standing. So FlexiSpot actually sent me this desk. This desk is the FlexiSpot Pro Plus E7. They were so kind to send this thing to me. It has been a game changer in my video creation because I can sit here and edit and from this position from sitting and editing to standing is like 10 seconds flat. It's amazing. I push a button here on the control pad and now it's programmed completely to me and my specifications for standing in a good posture for creating videos. It's where I spend most of my time. And so you need something that is going to work for you. And this just does. The great thing about it is this FlexiSpot pad which is completely customizable. And it has four different memory recall buttons, which is very helpful when you wanna go from sitting to standing and not think about it. And you also have two other program buttons for whatever you want. You think about all the stuff I have on this desk, the dual motors really do a good job. So if you're in the market for a standing desk, I definitely recommend checking them out. FlexiSpot gave me a discount link, so go check that out in the description box below. You know, having a standing desk has definitely helped my workflow out, so maybe it'll help you out too. Moving on to my video light that I literally always keep up because it's sexy. You know, when I'm doing zooms, I need a little bit of light coming through and I got a light over there for a little fill and you gotta, you know, you gotta balance out the light. So those are always up, always ready to create content. That's really what I wanted this space to be, is ready at any moment to create content at a split notice, like that. So next up, that brings me to my little oasis over here in the corner. This is where I spend my mornings. I drink a cup of coffee, I listen to some records, maybe I watch a YouTube video or two, or three, or four before I really decide that I should like do something with my life. This is another one of my pride and joys. It's probably the most expensive side table uh, or piece of furniture in this house. Really, because it's uh, a pair of baby sticks, which is a tripod, came with my Aton, my 60 millimeter Aton, and uh, it's a little film canister that I put on, I plopped on top. And 
I think this is just a really cool side table that uh, literally no one ever owns other than me. And what's in here? Oh, Polaroids. <laughs> Look at that. Got little kitties. And uh, an alien deduction. So, sorry there's no cash in there for you. I wish there was cash in there. So this is kind of where I just sit and hang out. And uh, well, this closet, it just has boxes and dead bodies in it, but we don't need to open that. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, my Kodak girl. I bought her for $30 and then I paid $100 in shipping. Okay, on the other side of the room. So over here is kind of my catch-all area, right? So this desk, has a bunch of stuff in here. Might as well show you, look, look, okay. This is kind of where I keep all of my developing and negatives and just random stuff. Just in there, it's in a way from people. But this is where I scan all my negatives. It's a really nice flat area. I can see whatever I'm doing over here. This is also where I do a lot of my B-roll for my videos. Put these things up, make a little cove. I got my lights already set up. Boom, can make some sexy images for you. My wonderful film fridge. It's amazing. It's also super full. So down here is actually where I keep all my cinema film. It's all my 16 millimeter film. Just bought some ectochrome for 16. Uh, I have Polaroid and large format in here. Then I have kind of all different specialty type of film in this, in this section here. And then this is also specialty because all film is special. It may look a little chaotic, but I guarantee it's actually very well organized. I keep all of the film that I have in here in a spreadsheet. I wish I could take credit for that, but that was actually Jason's idea. Uh, did I perfect it? Yeah, yeah, I think so. But I know where everything is and what everything is, and how many rolls of things I have. And when I shoot it, I cross it off the spreadsheet. So next up, let's go to the bathroom. And no, don't worry, I don't have diarrhea. It's where I make my darkroom prints. And as you should know, the darkroom should be dark. So the first step is to kill all ambient light from this hallway. It actually gets pretty dark in this hallway just because there's no windows, which is nice. So if you come in here, this is where I do all my darkroom printing. Just turn off the lights and look how dark it is in here. Okay, fine, I won't subject you to the dark. This is where I keep all of my darkroom equipment. I have the chemicals, I have my uh, grain focuser, I have my clocks in here. I got, okay, fine. It, it's more of a darkroom than it is even a bathroom. But this is where I make all the prints. And I also have this photo record thing that I created, which is a nice way to kind of collect all the data and all of your thoughts about how you are going to make a print. And there's a little space for drawing so I can tell myself what I'm dodging and what I'm burning and how I'm creating the prints. But I know why you're really here. And it's not about bathroom. And it's not about lights always being up. It's not about scanning. It's about the camera closet. Behind these doors is the secret to everything. Oh, oh God, no. <laughs> We're supposed to see that. <clears throat> This, obviously, is my pride and joy. So, this is where I keep all of my cameras. In this cube, you'll find my most precious cameras right here. Usually, my Mamiya 7 is also back here. But this is kind of my medium format shelf, plus my sexy Leica and uh, Bessa. Uh, and then you'll have, you know, the Polaroids over here. You got, I got my drone over here when I'm doing my cool drone shots and stuff. Got my battery solutions, because you always have to think about batteries. So it's a mess right now, it's, it's not actually the best solution. Over here I have my SLRs, my 35 millimeter cameras. I have all my lenses in here for my different systems. Uh, and this stuff right here is mostly filters and video kind of equipment and accoutrement that I just 
need to make you know movies for you. Uh, you know, I have my Boba Fett helmet. I don't know if anyone really knows what this is or cares, but um, it's like a proper Boba Fett helmet. It's like actually casted from Boba Fett's helmet. I did a thing like a billion years ago and they gave that to me. I got uh, my large format stuff up here and all my point and shoot cameras that just really don't work. Uh, and then all of my 60 millimeter film that I've shot over the years. And then this is all of the other stuff that kind of helps uh, me, you know, tighten things to cameras and tripods. I actually really like this Ikea system. It's really cool to just like be modular and stuff. I really like it. It's really nice. Just change these things around if I want to. Okay, well that's my office. This is where I create content. This is where I spend all my time. And I will probably die in this office. It's morbid, but it's true. Okay, now I got things to do. Get out of here. Like, get out. Like, get, get out. Get out. Bye, I love you. See you next time on the next episode.